In this session, we're going to take a look at working with text in CorelDRAW X6. Now, this being a beginner's tutorial series, we're going to keep the information pretty fundamental. We're not going to go too deep. But we do want to show you the basics of working with text in CorelDRAW so that you'll be able to get started working with text and laying out your own designs. There are two types of text in CorelDRAW. There is artistic text and there is paragraph text. And if you come over to your toolbar, about halfway down you'll see the letter A and that is your text tool. Simply left click on that, go anywhere in your workspace, left click and start typing. And I'll type in the word Corel Draw. You'll notice that when that comes into your workspace, by default it comes in as Arial, 24 points, but it also has the handles on it that you see with your vector objects. And text, even though it is text, it is vector and it is fully scalable. I want to left click and we'll change the size of this right here. Now most of the time when we're doing apparel design we'll be working with artistic text. I very rarely use paragraph text when I'm designing t-shirts and signs and things like that. Sometimes with flyers and catalogs, yes. You'll notice that when you have your text selected your properties bar changes again. Here you can select your font. We'll go ahead and change this to a freshman or a sports type font. Here you can change the size of your font and this is set up as points and there's 100 points. You can also come down through here and scroll your way through and you'll get a preview of your fonts as you scroll through them in the list. Now when you're doing that you probably want to take your font and bring it over to one side where you can see it and then you can go down through your list and get a dynamic preview of the fonts and what they would look like with your text. Go back to freshman here. Another thing that you want to be aware of is that you can use the shape tool with your text in CorelDRAW. We'll come up and click on the shape tool here and you can see that the text has changed. We now have some nodes here and we can left click, hold down and drag our letters around or we could lasso several letters and move them at the same time. If I wanted to bring the word draw down, I could lasso that and bring that down right to there and break that up. You also have some handles over here to the right that you can use left click hold and you can change the spacing or kerning of your characters in your text line. I'll hit control Z I'm going to go back to my text tool. I'm going to enter some more text here. Corel Draw Training Series. And now that I've got two lines of text, I can come down here to this handle on the lower left hand side. Left click, hold down, and that'll change the distance between my lines of text. I can also come up here with the pick tool and I could do perhaps change my alignment to center. I could add an underline. If I had italic or bold available, I could apply that. I could come here, text properties. We'll click on that and that'll open our text properties docker, which is very similar to our object properties docker. And here I've got access also to my font, to my point size, to my fill, and I could change my fill. I'm going to go ahead and take the underline off. I could change my fill from a uniform fill to a fountain fill as you can see there, and I can also go to my interactive fill tool and that's applied to my text. Now as I said, text is vector. Now if I want to change my fill, you'll notice if I come over here and click on the color palette, I just change that color. If I want to get back to a uniform fill, I have to do that here. And I'll be back to my uniform fill. I can click off and click on and I've got a uniform fill. Let's take a look at paragraph text, which functions much the same, but it's just a little bit different come over here and click on my A tool, excuse me, my text tool, not my A tool. Left click, hold down, drag, and you can see the blue lines and I'm creating a rectangle box. And that's a paragraph box. I'll go ahead and release, once again, Arial 12 point by default. Go ahead and zoom in with our mouse wheel and I'll just start typing in here. This is my paragraph text in Corel Draw X6 period. I'm going to go ahead and highlight this. I'm going to hit Control C 
and I'm just going to paste it in a few times here. And now that I've got this box set up, I can go back to my pick tool, and you'll notice that if I change the size of my box, my text flows with the size I select. You also know if you go to the pick tool, you've got the same nodes and the same handles. You can change the width between your characters and your words, and you can change the distance between the lines in your text. You can also right click on this and convert it to artistic text so you're not within the constraints of the paragraph box any longer. And I'll leave the paragraph text right there because that's pretty straightforward and simple. Now let's come over here to dealing with our text. One of the things we want to be aware of is that we can convert text to a curve or a vector object. So you can right click and select convert to curves and now you're no longer dealing with a character in which case you'd want to go to your object properties docker and you can work a little bit more fluidly in this docker once your text is converted to curves as far as applying fills and outlines are concerned but if you want to apply fills and outlines to the text you need to go to your text properties or your object properties to do that. I'm going to go ahead and just left click here to fill that with a light gray and I'm going to come down here to my outline and I'm going to change my outline color to black then I'm going to go ahead and give that an eight point outline. Now you can see that I've got this outline applied but I can't really get to all the properties I can get to if I'm dealing with this object here because everything's right here but if I want to get to that for text I'll have to come over here to the outline settings open up the outline pen dialog box and then apply behind fill scale with image etc styles and you can see that that will change that so at times it's better if you're able to to convert to curves and work with it convert it to curves because then it's just a vector object I want to take a look at a few things in the menu bar relating to text as I said we're going to keep things limited we don't want to go into every single feature and function we just want to get you started with the Corel Draw application. Come up here into the text menu and you can see there's a number of different things. I can go to edit text here that'll open up my text in a dialog box and I can edit there. I'll go ahead and select cancel. I can come down here and I can change case. And we'll go all to uppercase and select OK and now all of my text is in uppercase. I'm going to go to design base and I'm going to bring in a simple design because I want to show you how to fit text to a path. I'm going to click my way through here and we'll take a look at some different designs here. Let's see, I'll go ahead and go with this baseball design here. So we'll double click this. We'll open in a new document. I'm going to go ahead and copy this. Control C. I'm going to go ahead and minimize this. I'm going to open up my training page. I'm going to minimize my design base and I'm just going to come up here to the standard properties bar and select paste and that will bring that design right in here to my page. Let's say I wanted to add the word Corel Draw to the top of this design. But I wanted to form the text along a path to follow the arch of the stars. I could do that by simply creating a simple ellipse that followed that shape of the stars. Maybe a little bit bigger around the outside to put some space between the text and the shape. Something like that. Now I can go up into my text, come down here to fit text to path, and you can see it's going to change to my circle right there and release that and apply it. Now that's to the back of the design. So I'll probably want to right on click right click on that and select order and go to front of page. And once I'm on this path, I can start to edit this. And actually we'll take a look at this more in depth over here. Now I got my text selected and that's why I'm only moving that. I'll hit control Z and I'm going to select the object they have the text on for a path and I'm going to move that and that'll move everything. I'm going to go ahead and make this ellipse a little bit bigger and I'm going to go ahead and make it more of a perfect circle. Now looking at this, if I select this text and I start to move it, 
I can interactively and dynamically change its position on the ellipse. I can bring it down here to the bottom of my circle. But the problem is now my text is backwards. So in which case I'm going to have to come up here and select on mirror text horizontally, then mirror text vertically, and now it's gone to the inside, but it's reading in the correct direction. I'll have to left click and bring that back out. Also, you notice now my text is a little bit crunched together, but if I go to my shape tool, I can left click, hold down, and drag it out and change the width between my characters in my word. I can also lasso individual fonts and move them along the path with the shaping tool. Left click, hold down, and move, but you've got to be on those nodes to do that. Now that was just a little page refresh error there, so I just zoomed in zoomed out to refresh the page. Now looking at all these settings on the fit, fit text to path, and you can see what's happening here is that's just a little bit of a glitch because I'm editing the lettering here in X6, but it doesn't really matter because the way you would want to change this particular text on this curve is not through the text tool. What you'd want to do is go to text and then go to edit text and then let's say Corel draw and I'll click up here and we'll backspace and I'll say Corel draw X6 here and then select OK and now that's applied to my path so if I want to edit text on a path I want to go through text edit text I don't want to go through the text tool as you can see here because there are some rendering issues in X6 relating to text on a path, but they can easily be worked around. Go ahead and click off. When I click off that tool, you'll see that I'm actually on the path. There's just some issues there. I'm going to go ahead and wrap here with our introduction to text, and you want to be able to work with text on a path. If you want to get rid of your ellipse or the object that's on a path, you can simply right-click on that and select Cut, and that will be removed. So we'll wrap here and we'll continue in our next session.